Hi everyone, this is Satyajit. So today we are going to discuss about what are the, what is meant by scaling? Like what is horizontal scaling? What is vertical scaling? So in our earlier videos, we already discussed about like, uh, how to create EC2 instance, what is AMIs, what is instance type, okay, what is security group, everything we discuss in detail. So now we are going to discuss about what, what do you mean by horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Okay, to start with directly technical, we should, we should think on an example, right? So horizontal scaling means, let's say there is a work assigned to one people, right? And that one people is unable to complete this work, okay? And it is taking a lot of time. So we deploy three, four people to that. Uh, uh, so like now we have five to six people and the work can be done that is in the horizontal scaling it means the work is not getting impacted because one person already knows the work and the same type like we will deploy another four people there so combinations of five they will complete the work okay and another way is let's say there is another work but this group of five people are juniors right so instead of putting all five six people why can't we put a 10 year or 15 year experience to uh, people to do that job okay so that is called vertical scaling it means horizontal scaling means adding number of instances vertical scaling means increasing the power of the instances it means if you are using a 2 gb ram system okay and that system is not capable of doing all of its work okay vertical scaling means just increase the instance type right instead of 2 gb make it 4 gb or 8 gb then it is going to work that is called vertical scaling horizontal scaling means one system one 2 gb of instance is not enough to complete the work add another two three instance of 2 gb RAM. so combinations or combinations of all the instances will complete the work that is called horizontal scaling. Now the benefits of horizontal scaling means there will be no impact. Impact in the sense like uh, let's say some work is going on. Uh, horizontal scaling means uh, it will be cost effective as well. It means let's say we will set a policy every time one instances will up and running and whenever the load more add another two instances and so that the work will be divided among three. And when there will be no work, the rest of the two instances will delete. Okay, so that is called horizontal scaling, like automatic increase and automatic of decrease of instances. So there will be no impact. Okay, so uh, and also cost effective, how much time we are using, we are going to pay for that amount of time. So that is called horizontal scaling. Uh, so it is the benefit there. But in case of vertical scaling, let's say. Uh, my system is running of 4 GB RAM, right? So now my system is running very slow because I am just using Python script or something uh, doing practical or I'm using uh, hypervisor or virtual machine, right? So on my, let, let's say on my Windows system, I'm using it. So my system is running very slow, okay? So what I will do, I have 4 GB of RAM. I will just uh, check my system is capable of 8 GB RAM or not. So what I will do, I'll just purchase one 8 GB of RAM and install it. So after that, my system will work fine, right? But to do that, I need to purchase the RAM, okay? And I need to stop the server and uh, or my stop the Windows machine laptop and I will remove it and attach that 8 GB of RAM and uh, uh, will work on the first of all there will be downtime because i need to shut down everything right downtime which is impact okay second one thing is let's say i added 8 gb of ram like new hardware i purchased 8 gb of ram uh, at the point of time let's say after uh, two months i don't want to use it because uh, uh, i am done with my practical and i don't want and that time it is a wastage of resources okay again i need to uh, downgrade it or something right so that is means vertical scaling is good but if your load is uh, very uh, changing right every time sometimes it is high sometimes it is low on that situation horizontal scaling is helpful but uh, if your load is normal like load is uh, uh, 
um, now we know 80% of traffic increase means that traffic will remain same throughout the uh, scenario, right? Throughout the time. Then vertical scaling we can use on that situations, but vertical scaling means increasing the number of power, okay? And horizontal scaling means adding number of instances. These two terminology will be helpful every time. So you have to remember on these two terms. Next one is something called scale in and scale out. Okay, there is something called scale in and scale out. Okay, so scale out. Okay, scale out means it will be from out, it will be, it means scale out means increasing the instance type. Increasing the number of instance, sorry, in not increasing the instance type, increasing the number of instance. Okay, it means, so there are two instances there. And we said, right, maximum it will go six. Okay. So scale out means it is two, then it is increased to three, then four, five, six. That is called scale out. Okay. Scale in means like uh, now load is not. So you may, you may ask in what scenario that will happen, right? Two, it will go to maximum three, four, five, six. So it will work on the condition. So there is something called auto scaling. We will discuss later. So depending on the situations like let's say we put a policy if a cpu is more than 80 percent okay if a cpu is more than 80 percent then scale out happen it means when the cpu reach 80 percent it will increase one instance type it will increase or it will add one instance like it is two then it will increase three then again 80 percent is four five and six so maximum it will go up to six okay so that is for six scale out and when the everything normal okay everything normal means there will be no issues everything normalized on that situation scale in happen it means it will decrease the instance okay instance count and it will decrease and finally it will remain as two because minimum it will remain as two so that is called scale in so that is the difference between scale in and scale out okay scale out means increasing the uh, adding number of uh, adding instances and scale in means deleting the instances okay and there is something called scale up and scale down okay scale up means it is so scale in and scale out is in case of horizontal scaling and scale up and scale down is in case of vertical scaling so scale up means increasing the instance type scale up okay increasing the instance instance time scale down means decreasing the instance step it means let's say we are using 2 gb of ram and we want uh, 4 gb of ram just do uh, increasing so but remember to do that we need to do stop the server like uh, what let's say this instance testing is to instance this is running t2 micro okay so t2 micro means smaller one okay now we'll discuss more about instance type t2 micro means smaller one then t2 medium t2 large t2 x large this instance type is there so now t2 micro is one one vcpu and one gb of ram now we need to increase the instance type let's say we need to select that one go to the actions and um, go to these uh, instance settings and change instance type okay and instead of t2 micro we can just go for t2 dot medium let's say T2 dot medium and you just need to select it and apply it if you see now instance type got changed from t2 micro to t2 this is called vertical scaling okay or, or we can call it scale up because t2 micro it was i uh, increased to t2 dot medium but before that remember we need to stop it only when the instance is in stop state then only we can do the increase and decrease means vertical scaling or else it won't be possible on the fly okay so to perform that we need to stop first so that stop means we need to take down time right so now t2 medium i need to start means that's it it is going to run and again i want to go downgrade so i need to select it again same action instance settings change instance type instead of t2 medium i can go for t2 dot micro okay so it is not t1 t2 dot micro Okay, t2 dot micro and apply it. That's it. So now it got changed. And after that, to make it effective, we need to start it, right? Stop. Now we need to start it. So once it is start, it will be working fine.
okay so in this video we discuss about the scale in and scale out and what is horizontal scaling what is vertical scaling and what is scale up and scale down okay and uh, next videos we'll discuss something thank you for watching my videos thank you